Hey everyone, today I want to talk a little about uh, education and uh, what I've gone through for my education as well as uh, um, things to think about for your education. Um, I started off uh, getting an electrical engineering job uh, with getting a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering. And then I worked at that job for a while and, and then I went off doing consulting work and then uh, got out of the engineering field altogether and want to get back into it. So I went back, got another education, uh, this time an associate's degree, and worked in the engineering field for a while. Um, with the, the engineering degrees and the, the bachelor's and associate's degrees, do they teach you how to do something. Uh, what I found is they don't teach you how to build a real income that will um, sustain you. You have your company retirements, uh, you know, those are just, you know, fixed amount, uh, and then you start depleting those, you use those. You have your Social Security that you're building up, and, you know, for some of the younger guys, there may not be much of it left, because they seem to want to give it away to everybody else, uh, not give it back to you, you know, when you do retire. So you're limited to, you know, small bits of income. You know, retirement only going to replace about 25% of what you were making when you were working. Um, and then I come across some other training throughout the years um, that teach you how to build real assets. Um, that's the thing I discovered on one of those, that everybody thinks your home is an asset. Well, the definition, according to Robert Kiyosaki, which everybody may know or may not know, um, an asset makes money for you whether you're working it or not. Your home is a liability because you always have to pay for it. It doesn't generate you any income. And, you know, through years I've tried a few different things to, to make an income. Um, you know, just just didn't work out. I was just always, you know, my mindset I think was not what it needed to be at the time. And, and now that I've retired and looking at trying to live on 25% of what I was making last year, um, I come across another option that teaches you how to build assets that generate your income. Uh, you know, real estate is one nice way of doing it, but that can be um, kind of expensive to get into. Uh, if you don't have some money uh, up front, a lot of the banks are going to loan you money to invest in real estate property. So it's kind of hard uh, to get going too much in real estate. I looked at that. I looked at that pretty seriously for a while, but my problem was I didn't have the income or the connections or even how to make the connections uh, to get the, the loans that I needed uh, to do that. Well, take me to the present day, <clears throat> and uh, I come across a, a company, Onstra Institute, and they teach you how to build what they're calling digital real estate. And what that amounts to is you're, you're going to build um, uh, business profiles with emails that you're going to send out. Um, unlike the last time I tried at Philip Marketing, there was just take an offer, put it out. Uh, when the offer is no longer viable because of, you know, things change, you have to do another one. Well, this one builds an email list as you're going along. So now you build a, a fan base, uh, you people that you can communicate with, um, and you can sometimes send the same offer to um, whatever's on your list. And if you have something else, you can send else to the same people on the list. So that's what I've been doing. You know, education in normal traditional school basically teaches you how to get a job and work, um, buy stuff, get another job, get a better job, get more income. You know, so you can buy more stuff. Well, and some of the training I was going through with the Robert Kiyosaki stuff, um, you know, the mentality is a little bit different. Um, say you, you want to buy a car. Well, you get an asset that generates income enough to pay for the car. And now you're not, you're not paying for it out of your pocket. Your asset is paying for it. Um, that's some of the things that I've been trying to wrap my head around and, and, you know, trying to get get going, and now that I've come across this uh, um, Onstra Institute, um, I am learning how to build those assets and use use the knowledge that they have built over the years 
and it makes the learning curve way slower um, if you don't use them because you have to try and figure things out on your own. Uh, they have uh, uh, some training and the, the training you go in there, they even take you step by step on what they're doing, why they're doing it, and how to do it. I was able to take what would have normally took me without their instruction, probably take me three, four weeks to figure out how to do. I was able to put together uh, the whole thing ready to send out emails in uh, two days. Um, that's building building the email, the, the list, uh, all the opt-in pages, um, and uh, even sending out some test emails to myself to see, see if it worked. Um, the, the training is just uh, um, something I wish they would teach in, in school is how to, um, you know, be an entrepreneur, how to look at things a little differently instead of the normal, um, get a job, get, uh, uh, get your house, you know, you want to get a bigger house, you need more pay, so you got to find more pay or get more pay and, and then just keep you know, a big cycle of, of uh, earn more money, spend more money, earn more money, spend more money. And that's where, when you retire, you don't have the option of, uh, traditionally, you don't have the option of getting more money. You get less money. And by getting less money, now you have to st budget. And, you know, sometimes you see, you go in, you know, I hate to pick on Walmart, but they're a good target. Uh, you go in and a lot of times the greeters, you know, should be out re, re, enjoying their retirement. You know, they, they should be able to re, enjoy it and not have to go work. Now, a little different story if they, they want something to do. But, you know, if you had the um, options to do different things in retirement, uh, you wouldn't think that uh, going and standing at an uh, entrance to a Walmart and saying, welcome to Walmart, welcome to Walmart, or whatever store it happened to be. It could be, um, you know, Sam's a grocery store it could be anything so that's kind of my my thoughts on education it's sure nice to um, actually come out here nice cool morning as you can see it's kind of cloudy it rained last night good for my garden <coughs> as you can as you can see my garden I, I got about half of it planted where the wood chips are at it's all planted uh you know, something I enjoy and, and, you know, nice fresh veggies. And in this first row over um, over here is uh, cucumbers. And down at the far end is uh, snow peas. Uh, this next row over here is, is going to be all tomatoes. Um, in this second row here, uh, the third row is going to be peppers. Um, some of them are, are planted. They still need to get up bigger. The next row is going to be all beets. And then the next row is going to be, um, well, actually, I got cabbages in the row, and then I got beets in the next row. And then I have like a kale, lettuce, uh, spinach, uh, you know, uh, Roma spin uh, lettuce, and regular leaf lettuce, and radishes, all kinds of stuff like that. And then I have a nice big old plot here uh, of just sweet corn. Uh, I have. Uh, I put in four stevia plants. I don't know if you can see them in the pictures very well. It's kind of dark out here, right, right down here. I've got four stevia plants. Uh, I use that for sweetener instead of uh, sugar. So uh, I wanted to plant some because the stevia is fairly expensive to buy, and I can grow it and get quite a bit. So if you want to take a look at what it is I'm doing, how I'm generating my options, uh, just send me an email message or send me a message on, on this, and uh, I'll get you some information. And I'm going to sign off now. It's getting a little bit longer video than I normally make, but uh, uh, we'll go from there. Uh, make sure you uh, um, like and, and subscribe. I have a little button to click on my face over here on the corner. I think it's over on this, this corner over here. Um, for the like and then uh, there's also some links into some other videos uh, don't forget to like and subscribe share if you like talk to everybody later